Uh, my name is Steve Leahy. I'm chairman and CEO of North American Tungsten Company. We are the largest uh, tungsten mining company in production outside of China. We have two projects. One, we have the Kantung Mine, which currently produces approximately 4% of the world's tungsten. And we also have the Maktung Deposit, which is in permitting stage, which is arguably the largest undeveloped high-grade tungsten scarring deposit in the world. Well, Northern Canada, being the Northwest Territories and the Yukon, uh, is a very, are two very good jurisdictions around the, compared to other places around the world. I think uh, people, albeit have been lured by uh, very inexpensive uh, opportunities, what they thought were inexpensive, and I think some of them are changing their tune when they have projects that they're running into serious pr trouble with. The Kantung Mines, located in the Northwest Territories, uh, operationally, uh, we have very good jurisdiction, in my, our opinion, up there for operations. We have very good liaison with all, all of the uh, stakeholders, First Nations, from government, local government, and federal government. Our Maktung project is located in the Yukon and currently is in the permitting stage. And again, um, the Yukon territorial government is extremely open for business and they are extremely helpful. Well, tungsten is a strategic mineral, as classified by the United States and Canada and Europe, and it is dominated in production by China. 85% of the world's tungsten is produced in China, and as I said, we are producing 4%. That's a significant number for a small company of a strategic metal. In addition, we have the ability to continue on with our Maktung deposit for many decades, uh, being given its size, and again, being a Western world's leader in production of a strategic metal. We think the next catalyst really is going to be this year. And that said, we have invested over $50 million in the last two years in our Canton operation, improving efficiencies, making streamlining development opportunities, and increasing our throughput and recoveries in our mill. These, all of these uh, initiatives and, and uh, in addition to that, uh, the changes that will enable us to get longer uh, developed reserves and resources will also come into play. We think that 2013, coupled with the recent rise in prices, will, will be a, a banner year for North American Tungsten. Well, these are difficult markets and probably the most difficult I've ever seen in my couple of decades involved in the markets. I think that uh, production and near production opportunities are at bargain basement prices at the moment, especially in the junior sector. And I think that that's going to be the focus and I think that's going to be where the real gains are going to be made. Uh, exploration, I think, is going to be problematic for some period of time. But I do think that a lot of these situations, including ours, are way undervalued given their space, given their size, given their tonnages, and given their potential for revenue and profit.